Juventus are interested in Arsenal striker Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang looking to take the 32-year-old striker on loan with a view to signing him permanently in June. Chelsea have slipped to six points behind leader City after just one win in the last four Premier League games. Paul Pogba may have played his last game for Manchester United and will leave the club in January. Real Madrid linked to the French midfielder who is out of contract in June. Barcelona have offered 29-year-old Brazilian midfielder Felipe Coutinho to both Spurs and Newcastle. If Atletico Madrid can find a replacement, they will allow Kieran Trippier to move to Newcastle for £15 million. Bernardo Silva is set to be rewarded for his fine form with a new contract doubling his wages. Borussia Dortmund CEO has confirmed that Real Madrid are interested in signing Erling Haaland. Florentino Perez apparently dreaming of teaming Haaland up with Mbappe, who can of course discuss a pre-contract in January. And last night El Shaddai Bichiabu became the youngest player to ever play for PSG at 16 years, 7 months and 3 days old. What's going on, people? Welcome back to another video. My name is Hugh Izzy and you're watching Paper Talk. Papers, we are back again. Gloomy, grey, dark, cloudy and rainy on a Monday morning to go through the latest breaking news for that ass and see exactly what's making the headlines in the back pages of these, the most fraudulent publications available to man. We buy them so that you don't have to. Love to your mothers, hope you're all doing well and looking after each other in these turbulent times. We're all we've got, people. For now, though, we have got four fortunate publications to be going through, including the I, the Daily Star, the Daily Mail, and the Daily Mirror. It's daily, like Thompson. It's daily, like paper talk. Papers, paper talk. Let's get down to business, my sons. Let's start today on the, uh, what's going on with the papers today? The papers have been, they all have, okay, I'm going to do, what's going on here? Get in the bin, get boosted now. Okay, fantastic. Let's start on the back of the Daily Mirror today, who say, Total Voss, the VAR Voss in Liverpool's 2-2 draw with Spurs yesterday. What's an absolutely sensationally entertaining game for the neutral. It must have been an absolute nail-biter and... Incredibly frustrating for both sides who certainly had their chances to win and take three points on a huge night. And will feel, I guess both will feel, aggrieved somewhat by the refereeing decisions as well. Over here we have got Pep Guardiola saying we're going to get better and better. Manchester City 4, Newcastle United nil. And Pep Guardiola said in the first half it was the worst he's seen his side play all season. They have, however, won 34 games in a calendar year. That is a new record in terms of the Football League. Sensational scenes. Up here it says, stop football now. Thomas Tuchel's Blues may not even turn up at Brentford, warns Tuchel, as they were denied their request to the Premier League to have their game against Wolverhampton Wanderers postponed due to eight positive cases of the old you-know-what. Over here, incredible Rajukanu adds spotty trophy to the US Open. Sports personality of the year, Emma Raducanu. No Lewis Hamilton, uh, no Tyson Fury, uh, no Taylor, no point in even watching for me. The best team weren't even winners. It's a, an odd one, that. Uh, over here, though, Jurgen Klopp saying that Harry Kane should have been sent off for his X-rated challenge. Let me know your thoughts on Andy Robertson, who himself was sent off having just scored his equaliser seven minutes beforehand. Klopp insisting that Kane should have been sent off for his awful leg breaker on Robertson, who saw red for his tackle on Emerson Royale. It was a spicy affair, wasn't it, lads? A really swashbuckling, entertaining, basketball-style back-and-forth game. I thoroughly enjoyed it, I've got to say. I may well do a 90 more on it after this video. It is really early, so we may well have time. Over here, uh, agony for Captain Root as Aussies pile on the pain. I uh, turned it off after Ben Stokes got out this morning. Uh, he was in for about 75 balls or something like that, and he got about four or five runs. Um, shocking 
lack of cojones shown from the England side and Australia looking far superior. It looks like they are going to take the second test as well. Hopefully not a clean sweep there. Very embarrassing. Raducanu wins spotty crown, but the main story of the day, you can see a huge storm coming. My players are at risk, says Chelsea boss Chukul, and clubs meet to discuss today, of course, the festive fire break as cases pile up in the Premier League. Positive cases left, right and centre and Chelsea boss Thomas Tuchel has basically angrily accused the Premier League of putting his players' health at risk by being forced to play yesterday's game against Wolverhampton Wanderers. And the managerial mayhem and anger at officials continues over here with this theme. Clot fury at referee over Kane tackle. He accused the referee of basically having no clue about what he was doing. I think for Batum saying, you've clearly never played football before. Um, and yeah, it was an extremely controversial, lively affair. Antonio Conte really has spurred Spurs on. They looked lively, hungry and took the lead in the 13th minute with a beautiful ball from Undombele sliding in Harry Kane, slicing that defence open, Konate unable to get there. It, uh, we'll get to that in the video, let's just move on to the next back page. Whilst I've got you here my sons, please do head on over to the Discord and join the Fraud Gang community, we are active. We are also on TikTok, please do join me, I'm in a personal race to a thousand TikTok followers and I need to get there as soon as possible. Uh, head on over there now, link to the description box below and you can also go to the For The People podcast channel, we have just uploaded the latest episode every Sunday, 10pm, turn those bell notifications on, my actual sons, see you there. On the back of the Daily Star today we've got breaking news for that ass all over the place uh, circuit breaker as Thomas Tuchel says that football needs to be stopped and questions whether he'll even bother turning up with his Chelsea side to Wednesday's Carabao Cup game against Brentford over here we've got record breaker as Manchester City get their 34th win in the year and down here we've got leg breaker as raging Jurgen Klopp claims that Harry Kane could have broken Andy Robertson's leg as Spurs dented Liverpool's title charge it is Two points dropped for both sides, but of course it does look like Manchester City are in pole position. I think seven out of the last ten teams to finish at Christmas on top of the Premier League have ended up winning it, and the only three that haven't were all Liverpool. So have they done it to themselves again? Huge point for Antonio Conte, but he himself looked at the end very disappointed, and that says something about the mentality that he is looking to instill at Tottenham. On the back of the iSport today, we have got this fantastic picture of more Pain for England as Joe Root is hit directly in the uh, nether regions with the pink ball that they use for these day-night test matches. Kane controversy, striker escaping the red card in Spurs draw with Liverpool. Up here we've got Leeds still love Bielsa, fans sing manager's name despite heavy defeat to Arsenal. And over here, golf in class, City roll over tune in battle of the world's richest. Unbelievable scenes as Newcastle United, who of course have aspirations of being as big and successful as Manchester City really look like they've got their work cut out to even stay in the Premier League. How do they get around this? Eddie Howe has no answer, obviously, to Manchester City, but they need to start picking up points as soon as possible, even if they're going to try and convince people that can help them to stay in the league to join uh, in the January transfer window. Over here, Premier League has put us at huge risk, claims Thomas Tuchel, who said the Premier League put Chelsea under incredible pressure by forcing their side, which have been hit and ravaged by positive cases, to play yesterday's draw at Wolves. And of course, they are not in the finest to form themselves, dropping points left, right and centre. And now six points away from Manchester City and six points between them and Arsenal in fourth. So are they out of the title race already? Are Manchester City actually that good? Uh, that they can't be caught and you cannot afford to be dropping points at this stage of the season. Lads, let me know how you're doing, how you're coping with it all. Um, things are looking like they're changing in life, aren't they? So, how are we all going to respond? That's about it for this time. If you've enjoyed the video, please do smash the hell out of the like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn those bell notifications on so you never miss an upload from your fraud father. 
for now though, I've been Hugh Wizzy and this has been a lot of fun. Peace.